How's it going everyone? It is Pangino here and in today's video we're going to be showing you how to quickly, easily and securely remove practically any virus from your PC for free using either Windows 10 or Windows 11. The main method we're going to be using to remove our viruses does not even require downloading any extra programs, it's just using Windows itself. Later on in the video we'll also be showing a few more advanced options which you can take if any viruses still are lurking on your PC to hopefully arm you with the knowledge if you ever do run into any virus in the future, you know how to remove it or if you're currently experiencing a problem with viruses on this PC or a different PC, this video aims to help you remove that virus and have a completely clean PC afterwards. As always, if you do enjoy this video and are happy with your results, please do consider leaving a like and a comment for the YouTube algorithm as it does help me out tremendously. And with all that said and done, let's get straight on into the video. So jumping into the process to remove the virus from your PC, we're first of all going to be tackling the Windows options which are built into both Windows 10 and 11 and will not require you to download anything. So for these steps, make sure that you are using the suspected PC in which you either know or suspect that there may be a virus on. What we can then go ahead and do on that PC is take yourself down to your Windows button and we're going to be searching for security. Head into the Windows Security tab and you'll be brought into this page. First of all, before we do anything on our PC, I would definitely recommend ensuring that nearly all of these options available in the first glance section have got a green tick next to it, such as your app and browser control, your account protection, and any other options which may have a warning sign next to, showing that you may want to update some information with inside of there or set things up correctly. So for me, I'm going to be turning on the app and browser control, and I'll be sorting out my account later on. With that then completed on the suspected PC, take yourself over to virus and threat protection. This is going to be the main panel which most of you may already be familiar with, but there's actually a very specific option we're going to be using in this video to do a full proper scan of our PC. For this, we're going to be navigating down to the blue hyperlink underneath current threats for scan options. Inside of scan options, we will then have an option available to us at the bottom for Microsoft Defender offline scan. This is going to turn off your PC, take it offline. It's then going to do a full scan of practically everything on your PC whilst it's disconnected from the network, stopping any viruses which may be active and doing a full thorough scan of your PC. Most people don't know about this option, but it's built right here into Windows and you should definitely make use of this. Before we start the removal and detection process, we need to ensure that we've disconnected our PC from the internet. So if you have an ethernet cable connected to the back, unplug the ethernet cable. Alternatively, if you are using Wi-Fi, navigate down to your Wi-Fi settings in the bottom right, right click on them, then select network and internet settings. Inside of this section, we need to navigate down to advanced network settings, then select more adapter options. Inside of this section, right click on your adapter, disable any and all adapters on your PC. We can then continue on. So select Microsoft Defender offline scan, then select scan now. It will then notify you that your PC will then be restarted before the work continues. That's fine, select scan now, then select yes. Windows will then notify you that the PC is about to restart. Windows will then be rebooted. Don't be alarmed if the graphics settings look very low quality here. That's fine, that's completely normal. After a few short moments, this box should pop up and the scan will start. It will tell you when the scan started, how many items have been scanned and the percentage at the bottom. As stated in this program, this will also automatically restart your PC once the scan has been completed. Simply walk away, don't do anything to your PC, leave it alone until the scan has been completed fully. Whilst we're running the offline Defender scan to go through all of our files and making sure that everything is virus free and working gives us a great segue into this video's sponsor. Wondershare Repair It is a fantastic, simple and easy to use program for video repair, photo repair and corrupt file repairs. If you have broken footage or you simply can't play a video on your PC or a photo that won't open or is damaged, Wondershare Repair It aims to help you fix that file to allow it to be opened, played, saved and used as usual. Mobile phones and most commonly used devices. From time to time when recording on my camera to an SD card, this is commonly where I have run into issues with corrupt footage. To set up and use Wondershare Repair It, use the link in the top of the description down below, head down to Windows and select Try It For Free. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using this video file here, which I recorded earlier. I'm trying to play it with inside of Windows Media Player. It is just not working. And if we head over to the property section, no data has been reported from this file whatsoever. Heading into Wondershare Repair It, selecting Add, selecting the file. With the video loaded into the program, once it's in the main list, never Navigate down and select repair. If the video cannot be repaired with the standard repair, select OK. We can then navigate up to the top right to advanced repair. Analyze the video where you'll then be able to put in a similar video file that isn't corrupt so it has a reference point as to what the footage may be like. Selecting open, then selecting next. We're then going to select repair. Once the repair process has been completed, select OK. We can then go ahead and preview 
a repaired file. I'm personally extremely happy with the repair in which it's done. I'm then going to choose to save the file. And the repaired file is here playing on our PC with absolutely no issues. If you're looking to repair any of your files now or are looking to in the future, make sure to use Wondershare Repair It in the top line of the description down below. Thanks again to Wondershare for sponsoring today's video. And look at that for time, our offline scan has just completed and we've now booted back into Windows. Once the Defender offline scan has been completed, your PC will then restart, you'll have to log in as usual, and any and all errors or malware it finds will then be detected and dealt with. Once you log back into your desktop, feel free to grab that Ethernet cable, plug it back into your PC, or if you need to re-enable your Wi-Fi, head to the bottom right, right-click on your network settings once again, head into the options. Navigate down to Advanced Network Settings at the bottom, head over to More Adapter Options at the bottom once again, find your Wi-Fi module, right-click, and enable this. We can then ensure that we have a few important options selected and available running on our system. For this, take yourself down to Ransomware Protection. Select Manage Ransomware Protection. If you're wanting your PC to be as secure as possible, you may want to enable the Controlled Folder Access option with inside of it. Of course, in the future, if you do run into any complications using any settings, or you find that you constantly have to give permissions and you want to turn this off, you can do so by all means, but if you want the most protected system possible, I would definitely recommend turning this option on. Once you've run the Microsoft Offline Scan, if you're confident that this has removed and cleared up any malware issues in which you've experienced, fantastic. But what options do you have available to you if you're not confident that this has removed the malware or you want to stay safer in the future and have a few more tools available to you? This next section of the video is completely optional and what I recommend to do if you're not confident that you've been able to remove all malware or you want to stay safer in the future and have a few more tools available to you. Well, first of all, I would recommend downloading and using malware bytes. You can just download and use the free version as this is good enough and it's the only antivirus in which I would use on top of Microsoft Defender. You can find a link for this in the description down below or do a quick simple Google search. Once you're brought over to the website to download the program, simply navigate down to the bottom and download the Malwarebytes free trial. Don't worry, after the 14 days has passed, this will just go over to the normal free version of the program and you do not have to put any payment information to get hold of this. Select download 14 day trial. Once the program has been downloaded, select open, select yes, advanced options, then select install. Select if you're going to be installing this for an organization or yourself, select next. You're going to skip using the browser guard for now, then the program will then be installed. The program should automatically open up, but if it doesn't, open it for your desktop. Select get started, select maybe later, select get started once again at the bottom, you'll then be booted into the program. What you then want to go ahead and do is navigate down to the bottom to scan. This will then go through and scan your PC to see if it can detect any malware or suspicious looking files. This is different than Microsoft Defender's database, so if Microsoft Defender missed anything, you should be able to find it with malware bytes. Having two options available to you is always better than one. Once the scan has been completed, it will give you a summary of how many files have been detected or quarantined, or if your PC is completely clear. Once that's completed, go ahead and select done. We can then exit out of this section. Malware bytes should automatically set itself up to do automatic scans at about two in the morning or whenever you boot your PC if it's already lapsed over this time. I personally do recommend keeping this setting on as it will keep your PC protected and it will scan at very odd hours so it shouldn't affect your day to day computing. Of course you can turn off scheduled scans, head to the scanner option in the middle, click on the main scanner section, inside of here select this option for scan at next available opportunity and you can just simply bin this option. Head back out with inside of here and automatic scans will then be disabled. You can then go ahead and exit out of the program, exit out of it in the bottom right hand side and only run malware bytes when you feel it may be necessary. I'm also going to include two more advanced options in which you can use to clear your PC of any adware or suspected programs or potentially any other malware or adware issues. These two programs are also going to be linked in the description down below or can be obtained with a quick Google search. First of these two programs is going to be the ADW Cleaner by Malwarebytes. Once you're on the webpage, select free download, then open up ADW Cleaner. Select agree, then select scan now. This will then scan your entire PC for any adware which may be detected. Select OK to any pop-ups that come up, and after a short amount of time, the scan results will let you know of any programs which have been detected which you may want to uninstall, which have been detected as being adware. So for me, that's going to be the Dell update for Windows 10. I'm going to be selecting this and quarantining this. Of course, by all means, go and read through your files before you quarantine or delete anything, and just double check they are actually files you want to get rid of. Then select continue. This will then remove that program. Again, make use of this program as and when you need it, or you can just simply uninstall it from your PC for now and only download it when you feel it's necessary. Once you're done, exit out. Last but not least, we have the R-Kill application. For this, once again, quick Google search or use the link in the description down below. Navigate down to the Download Now section at Bleeping Computer. Once the application is finished downloading, select Open, select Yes, 
and the Arkill application will open up. This is going to run through Microsoft Defender, other antiviruses, and do a full system sweep and Windows Defender itself. So if Windows Defender has been compromised, this should also be able to detect that. Once the process has been completed, it will then notify that a log file has been created, select OK. You can then read through the log file to see if any issues have been found, and if they are, this will automatically fix them. Once you're done with inside of there, exit out once again. At this point, feel free to remove Arkill from your PC and you can download it again anytime you feel you need it. But by all means, you can keep all of these programs installed to your system. It's completely up to you. And there you guys have it. That is my guide to remove practically any virus from Windows. Of course, if you have any other tips or tricks, do leave them in that comment section down below and please do consider leaving a like for the YouTube algorithm as it does help me out tremendously. If you have enjoyed this style of content and like tweaking around with your system and achieving the best performance possible, I'd consider checking out the two videos on screen now which can help you boost performance of your PC without having to spend a penny.